Oh, I've got something good for you today. You're going to love this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you some things that I got last night at a cray cray hour, which I actually had to email to myself to make sure I didn't forget. I got a major download about the predictions of our future. This is powerful and it's profound. Are you ready to hear them? Get your coffee, get ready, and be prepared to make some massive changes of which can take you into the golden era. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. No matter what's going on, that is possible. You see, when you go in an awakened state, what happens out there, it doesn't affect your spiritual involvement. In other words, when you go to a high frequency, this is the true test. If you want to know if you're awakened, right? Spend a week with your parents. <laughs> I love that one, and it's true. Well, we can't do that right now anyways. I'm going to share with you some things that I had, let's just say, I don't even like to say predict because prediction, as you know, if you watch my video, the 2020 predictions of Nostradamus, Dolores Cannon's input, and Edgar Cayce, the actual predictions, those of you who said, what were the predictions? The predictions have not come to pass Therefore, I'm not going to speak negative words of calamities that have way gone way past the date where they were predicted, and they gave a big time period there, like 10 and 20 years. Now, we cannot predict the dates of anything, technically, because things shift, and we are in control. Those predictions have not come to pass because the prediction and the message of those three and many, many others who have given predictions was number one, and this was the good news of that video. The prediction is we are completely in control of that future. And that through our spiritual involvement and raising our frequency, through our spiritual involvement, those were actual words, we determine whether these things shall come to pass. They have not. All right, so get that crap out of your head. And we're going to talk about this right now. That whole video was about telling you the fabulous news that we have raised our frequency. That's why that hasn't happened. But what has happened now with the pandemic is purposeful. It is a reflection of us, what we've been believing and thinking, and that is we don't believe we are one, we've been separated, we don't want to go to our jobs, we can't stand how things are functioning, they're collapsing. We have literally created this. It's a good thing because it's going to take us into an era. We believe that when things like this happen, they're bad. And I'm not discounting the pain and suffering that's going out there. I'm just talking about the actual, uh, the actual global, change that's going on, this massive, drastic global change right now. What does it mean? I'm going to talk to you about something that I got downloaded last night that I had to write because it reflected everything that I have picked up. Now, I had a, I, every once in a while somebody say, who do you study? Where are you getting this information from? I'm not studying anybody. I have read books in the past by Ernest Holmes, uh, the Master Key System, all the grades but none of which I'm getting this information now because you can get this information. You don't need to read somebody else's stuff to know what's gonna happen because you're always creating it. Now I'm going to say one thing right now about what, where you're placing your focus and some of you are still getting sucked into, here's the conspiracy and the government's doing this and this is who created that. It is irrelevant. That is part of, listen to me right now, that is part of the conspiracy to get you to stay in a lower frequency. We're the good guys. We're going to tell you who the bad guys are. But by the way, the stuff we're telling you is going to scare the crap out of you, and we can't prove it's you know, true anyways. And by the way, if we can prove it, 
you can't do anything about it. Where's your focus? You're getting sucked into that. They seem very credible, and there's some really great guys out there, by the way. But what is the purpose of that? That keeps your focus away from the evolution, spiritual evolution of the planet, the raising of the frequency, and it keeps you down focused on the old stuff that has put us in this in the first place. In 2018, here we go. 2018, I called it the year of transition. I told people in the beginning, get ready. A lot of really big changes are gonna happen, personally. And that you're going to experience a lot of things, losing relationships, losing jobs, uh, electrical things are gonna screw up, uh, weather, just crazy stuff's gonna happen. Basically on a smaller level, right? <clears throat> It was all the opportunity of that year for you to transition out of whatever you're doing. And so I really brought it home that it was so important for you to do that. But most of us will stay wherever we're going to stay if it's comfortable, uncomfortable. We're uncomfortable in our own uncomfort, right? We're comfortable, I should say, in our uncomfort. In other words, you'll stay in rotten jobs doing stuff that's destructive to the planet because you get to pay your bills. Look what's happened. That's gone. So, year of transition, 2018. But I told you in 2019, I named it the year of transformation. In other words, whatever happened in 2018 was in your face of what you were supposed to change. The job, the relationship, uh, how you interact with people, needing to forgive, uh, you know, just focused on the material world, you know, all the things that you experienced. Look at 2018. I was getting tons and tons of emails about that and uh, comments. So in 2019, I told you that's okay. 2019 is the year of transformation. Take it and go with it because I told you in 2019, if you go back and watch these videos, that we were going to go into an era an era where it's going to be necessary for you to be prepared. And I told you in transformation meant you have an opportunity now, no matter what you see out here, to switch into that place that you need to be and to not get distracted. Listen, I don't even know what the conspiracy theories are. It's always the same crap. The cabal, the government, so-and-so's evil, they're evil. They're, oh, blah, 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 what a waste of amazing energy right so trans you can get sucked into that that you're creating with those thoughts so you're taking your own frequency down it makes you feel bad and helpless good that's what they want is that what you want you're, you're falling for it you think it's empowering you oh we're there's this group of people we all, we know what's going on yeah and what's your point we're over here raising our frequency we're in the miracle circle group you know, we're talking about how do we get out of that lower frequency? How do we go into a frequency of miracles? Miracles is when you have no blocks. You judge nothing. You don't tell somebody. Somebody saw one of my ads. I always have to post it on my, my, uh, my YouTube channel. It's about my internet marketing. Your lipstick's all over the place. And I said, this is your contribution. <laughs> it usually, I notice it usually is. I don't look in the mirror before I shoot most of the time. <laughs> I like this is your contribution this th this counts that kind of stuff counts one comment counts one thought counts because you are now placing your quantum focus into a frequency now I did my last my last video I shot I talked about yeah I suggest you watch it because it is um, it's really different it's something that I picked up on that I shared that I've not read anywhere and that is you are always in your energetic space you're always you don't go anywhere when you die everything's transformation your energy just shifts into different frequencies and vibrations we're a vibration which creates this body and we're a frequency within it I'm a, a let's say an awakened person you're an awakened person versus somebody who's still a student learning let's not name that we need to have everybody awake and we need to have everybody stop to no there's students here get over it that's what we they need that if they need to suffer then then that is part of it but we don't accept that 
This is what we're going through right now. So I want to share something with you because this is the year of, okay, we went through transformation. I called this the year of expansion and I told you, I believe it was last fall, put on your seatbelt. Get ready and put on your seatbelt. And I didn't want to scare the crap out of you because no one knows what that is going to translate into. It could be, you know, planetary disasters, or it could be all kinds of things. I didn't know what it was. But I want to share with you that I knew something really big was coming. A lot of people felt that. I knew that we had to be ready. So what is getting ready for it? And how can you shift into what I'm going to tell you here in a moment? When we go into this, there's no more time. There's no such thing anyways. There's no more time. Pull out your granny's great tea set and have tea. Pull out the special towels and use them. Stop living your life like you have forever. Because every thought that you have right now collectively is determining what's going to happen next year, tomorrow. So I want to share something with you because we are going into a golden era. We are. I promise you that. That's what this is. We can't go in a golden era polluting the planet, driving uh, cars and put, you know, L.A., you can't see. I can't stand flying in L.A. You can't see it. You know, destroying the animals, torturing them to, so that we can eat meat, all this stuff. We can't keep living that way. But we think we can go in a awakened state Living in that world, we couldn't. It was impossible. And because we are going into awakened state, that's what caused this whole situation to pull us out of it. How can we change if we can't go to those jobs, if we're forced to change them because they won't be there when we go back, if we decide we don't want to go back to them, if we decide our relationships really are effing important because now I can't see that friend or hug that person. It's in our face. And something amazing is happening from this. And I'm going to share with you, if you think about this, there is community right now that I've never felt since, since I was a child. There's a community because we've allowed technology to pull us apart and now we're going to get to use it to bring us together. We can use it for powerful, positive ways. We can reach global audiences and not be the person in that town who doesn't know what's going on. We can talk to each other and say, we're not going to put up with this. We're not going to keep taking drugs and prescriptions because we're told we're not OK. We're not going to judge other people and say that country is bad because they're a different color or they, they believe different things. This has to end. We are going into a golden era Okay, so here's what I'm going to share with you, because I'm going to share with you what can happen for you if you do this. And it's going to be individual, because you get to determine your own, your own reality. You do get to determine your own reality. There will be awakened people that do not go down in the, the nasty density, even though we agreed to come here. You all get to go. You all get to go to the higher frequency. That's the whole purpose, is this is all a test. It's a holographic test. We're all students. Are you really awakened? Guess what? You're being really tested. So here, here's the deal. Put on your seatbelt again. We're not done. We're not done. So if you're still judging people, blaming, saying anything, anything nasty about somebody else, you better start looking at you. Because that negative energy is your energy field. And you're not contributing positively to our collective, but it will, won't stop other people from going to awakening and living in heaven on earth. It won't stop them. But you will not participate in it. We are all intermingled, right, entangled, you are super entangled when you place your focus on something. So when you're placing your focus on those negative people that are saying, you know, this and that, or the news, the media, half of that's garbage, right? Probably more than half of that's garbage. 
Why do you need to know certain things? You're in your house. You can't go out, maybe for a walk or grocery store. What do you really need to know? You don't need to put it on. That is an excuse to go into a lower frequency. You are now no more games. You're in the game. You're in the big game. This is a hologram. You can never be harmed. This body, psh, so you go. You're more powerful when you're out of this body because you don't have the density that you have to deal with or the collective of the human species. We're going to go into even bigger, bigger changes because we're not going to go from here back to that. So that means that has to change to this. What does that mean? The financial industry, how we live as far as abundance goes, there should never be homeless people. There should never be people who do not have fair health care. We have to have systems where we're not afraid of each other. It will take time. Yes, I'm not suggesting we take all the borders down and, hey, come on in, right? Because everybody has to adjust to that new world. But we can do it much quicker than you think. But you have to participate in it. We have something else coming. I want you to get ready for it right now. It's not bad. It's not going to be bad. You're, when it happens, you're going to say, wow, it's, you're going to feel like this huge gateway just got open because you right now are working on you, not being afraid of that to not go into fear. End the fear. Nothing can harm you. Nothing that's going to happen in your life is negative. It is the falling off of what's not working for you. So those people who have struggled financially, it should have never been that way in the first place. The systems are going to have to change to accommodate all those people who have worked so hard and can't get ahead. That has to change. It's going to change in their favor. So what they're struggling through now is an in-your-face issue for the countries or planets or state or whatever, whatever that is to say that doesn't work because if we can have anything like this crash us, then we're not living a healthy lifestyle, a healthy society. We're not a healthy society because that should never happen. So that is an in-your-face things that we've created as a human species that has proven it doesn't work. We weren't happy in it. People work in two, three jobs or paycheck to paycheck. And then, of course, you know, even if you have wealth, you get a portfolio, it could be in the, the crapper right now, right? What kind of system allows that? That doesn't work. I know. I was an investment banker. I was in the financial industry. I'm going to tell you right now, it was always teetering on a bunch of rocks piled up. Always. And most of it didn't work. And it was not driven by honesty and ethics. It doesn't matter what our governments are doing right now. You and I are in charge. You and I get to say what happens. And nobody tells you how to think, how to behave, how to act, and what you can or cannot create. And as a community, we can do pretty effing amazing things right now. No more pointing fingers and stop imposing what you believe on other people. Allow them to decide if they want to believe that or not, or if they want to awaken, or if they want to be kind, or if they want to drop judgment. They're students. They may have to get their asses kicked a few times to figure out that what they're doing doesn't work. Let them do it, you can't, right? Hey, listen, how do we learn? You don't know the iron's hot till you put your hand on it. Yow! Or there's always some, you know, idiot, moron that's gonna keep putting their hand on it. You wanna keep, bang your head against the wall? Go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. But we will be here to say to that person, hey, listen, if you wanna stop banging your head on the wall, there's something else over here I'll show you. We must be that for one another, but we should not, if we, want us, if we want that other person to evolve as a student, the way they were meant to here, 
We must step back and be okay with them falling down a few times before they learn how to walk. Send them love and compassion and guidance. Yes, send them my videos. Send them Eckhart Tolle's videos and allow them to choose. And don't think of them as being wrong. They're wrong by not being that spiritual person because then you're not. A spiritual person doesn't expect that other person to be a certain way. They have unconditional love for them no matter what. So we, this is miracle thinking. We have to take it up to that super high notch where nothing is wrong. It's not wrong. It's just what we're experiencing as a human so we can evolve. And by us not going into that negative thinking space and saying that's wrong and this is right and that's your, that's separation and that is literally what we're in right now. Put on your seatbelt. We're not done. This is the year of expansion and why did I call it that? Because whatever you did up to this point, which I told you, don't sit back and wait for anything. What are you waiting for? I just got some my you know Egyptian towels out with the little fringe. I'm using them. Nobody's here. Who cares? You know, I get my best stuff out, and I I, I act like a queen. I I drink my uh, iced tea in a beautiful wine glass. What are you waiting for? Be your best with those thoughts. Meditate every. Day. Do you want to be that evolved person that goes is in a peaceful space and that nothing out here is going to shake that? Then you have to work on it now. It's not too late. It never is. Hey, listen, I just told one of my students, my miracle students, who wants the best for everybody. I said, honey, don't worry. We're all going back to the one. We have to. That's who we are. We never left it. We're just experiencing things. So it's just whether how many people want to stay in the darkness the veil of darkness and experience that. You know, they get caught up in it. They believe that's what they are and we forget what we are because if we knew what we were, we couldn't experience the darkness. We would go, oh, <laughs> ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, pandemic. And you like knowing that you can walk around it and you'll never get sick because you're in such a awakened state that your immune system can't be compromised. That's how it works. Go into the space right now. We're going to go to the golden era means transition, right? We're transitioning into it. So expansion for me is now we're going to take our power. And this is why I keep giving you guys advanced videos. We're taking our power unlimited because we are just one thing in different frequencies and vibrations, all just experiencing stuff. That's all we are. We don't die and go over here. We just, we transition, we shift into another frequency. And depending on what else is in that frequency, that's what we'll experience. That's why some people, near-death experiences, they go into this amazing space, and others have different kind of experience, you know, another amazing space. It, it's all, and some meet their relatives, and others don't. Why? Because it's your individual reality, your frequency, that, that's always creating that. You are the one. You're creating that in endless expressions, in endless experiences. So I have to, I, mine it has to be mine for me to know this that's different from this and different from this. But it's not, it's not really separate at all. We just experience it that way. We believe it. So you're in control of yours. You get to do that, and it contributes to everything. So you get to change your reality. What's your story? You get to, you get to choose your story. It's true, no matter what, oh, but what about the, somebody, oh, it, my, every, every once in a while I get this, what about this abused babies, those babies are you, you are a baby, we're all, we're all baby. they're not, that's not a baby, that's a, that's an energy field, all right, so that baby, we're always talking about the babies, instead of the people that are inflicting the pain on them, we, how's that possible, how are we allowing that? The babies, they're vic no, 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 there are no victims, per first of all. Second of all, there's no pain if we stop the source of it. How are we allowing people to act a certain way with other people? We do have to go into the higher frequency and stand up for ourselves as human beings. All right? So there's a fine line between 
dictating what somebody should do according to your beliefs and being that just warrior, that angelic warrior that says, this is no longer acceptable. I will not take prescription drugs that I don't need. I will not do certain things to the planet, put a weed killer in knowing that babies are being bathed in that water because it goes into the system. We have got to be 100% responsible right now. And it's going to take time. You know what? I've got stuff in my house that I'm slowly moving out. But I'm, I, my makeup, you guys have seen, I've had to transition everything over to vegan. I, there are things I didn't even know. But once you have this information, you can never go back. You can't eat something that was tortured before it came to your table. And I'm not saying you, don't ha you have to stop eating meat. I'm just telling you, be aware of where it's coming from and how it's being treated. Because when you stop supporting all those things that are going on out there that are negative, they go out of business. That's how you empower yourself and all of us. When you stop watching the conspiracy theories, they have no audience. They're going to have to start talking about something else because they like attention. That's what they want. They want to give you as negative stories as possible and you're falling for it. That news, oh, I have to see what's going on. Why? Why? You don't. This is your test. It's getting really serious now. You're not going to live forever. This is an experience that's very unique. You're here on the planet at this particular, particular time for a very important reason. It's not random. There's no chaos in the universe. None. So if you still believe that, then you don't believe what you are. You don't believe that you have the ability to change your own reality. And, and by going to that higher space, you change everybody else too. Why? Because you're putting a higher frequency into the collective and they will start making higher choices. Because they're going to feel it. And things, the negative actions and stuff are going to disappear. So a lot of that stuff that happens to babies and all kinds of situations stops. That person who wanted to, you know, murder somebody is going to feel different that day. And they don't, won't know why. But they'll make their own choice and say, I don't want to hurt anybody anymore. I'm done. I'm done with this. That's how it works. Strap on your seatbelt. And I want you to work on this every day if you choose. If you choose. Because I benefit from you doing that. I benefit when you meditate. And I've got tons of them. I've got a global, I've got a global healing meditation. It's very peaceful. I have two versions. One has music is a little louder. I like louder music. The first one was low music, so go in and pick which one. The newer one has the higher music. You can still hear me talk. We need, to, we need to guide each other through this, all right? So no, I don't watch other people or whatever. I, I prefer to know that what I'm speaking is coming from me, not my you know, subconscious that I picked up from something else. All the teachings of first centuries are pretty much the same. We hold the power. We can change anything. Our prediction right now is very very challenging and it is absolutely in your power right now to get through everything from here this point in a space that you probably have never felt before and you will not be affected in the same way it, you've got to get out of the fear you have to move past the fear you're going to feel it but you've got to stop allowing it to control you if you want to go into that higher frequency. All right? You guys, if you want to take any of my courses, you can go down. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm promoting it. Ooh. That's what I do for a living, okay? So you, those of you who've taken my courses, I know how powerful and amazing they've been for you. I want to continue that. Go down. Uh, I do have some codes down there. I have a free email list. I have a free mobile app for those of you who say, this should be free. Okay, well, then you work for free, right? We all have to function here on this planet. Until that changes, wouldn't it be great if nobody had to charge anything for anything, right? I can't wait till that. I would love to see that. I don't really want to come back, though. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Uh. 
All right, so go down, and then if you guys are interested, oh, this is a good one. I'm actually one of the few people that's able to offer this because it's just being released. I can't tell you what it is, but it's a super special offer. This is my free workshop uh, series for internet marketing saying, okay, you're in your house. You, you can earn money. You can in, in a positive way. Look at what I'm doing. I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for this. So if you want to learn, it's so unbelievably affordable and something that they're offering right now, you will see if you sign up for this list. You'll In the thank you, when you give the email, if you don't like it, you unsubscribe. When you go into the email thank you, it will show you a webinar. Watch the webinar and you'll get something in there. That's The webinar itself is amazing. And there's something in there that you'll get a chance to participate in that if you want to change your life when it comes to how you work and earn, it's unbelievable. And by the way, those people in that group, in that community, they're all highly spiritual because they're coming off channels. I, I advertise on spiritual channels. So those people coming over are really spiritual and where there is power in numbers, even how we work and earn. Because right? we want to bring value. We want to change people's lives in a positive way. We don't want to do things. This is part of what you have to think about right now. What was I doing for a living? Was it contributing? What were the, the, the uh, objects, the, the chemicals I was using? The what, you've got to rethink all of this. We are responsible, and you are that important. All right, put on your seatbelt. Something else is coming. We're going to be okay with a pandemic, by the way. That's going to clear up but because we have massive uh, meditations going. We have people putting this positive, so we're shifting. We're shifting it big time, all right? But something else is going to happen because we can't go back to the old structures, so those have to collapse, and it's going to be good, but it's going to be very uncomfortable because we have to let go of that stuff and we would not have let go had we not gone through this. So it's good, it's all good. Get ready, but you have to start changing now if you wanna participate in that place where you're not acting out of fear. So get busy and I want you to imagine a beautiful, amazing world where it's, it is healed because it always was perfect in the first place. So are you, you've never lost connection to your higher self. I know this is a long video, but um, this is really part of my training. All right, so those of you who say I don't give stuff free, I train you every day on here. Oh, well, every two days now, it used to be every day. I spent a lot of time on here, why? This is my mission in life. This is it. I went from investment banking to do this, and I will not stop. And by the way, when I take my last human breath, I'm not gonna stop there either. Neither will you. So no fear, get out your good stuff. Get out your linen napkins. I use, uh, I use uh, cloth napkins, which by the way, are better for the environment. You just throw them in the washer. Start really thinking about this because everything counts. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. My mobile app, by the way, some of you are asking when iPhone comes out, it's a little, it's been taking longer than expected. This is April 2020. I expect it to be out at the end of April. It was supposed to be out last month. Developers are working very hard on it, so I will announce that when that comes. Sign up for my, uh, my Manifest Anything list. That's free. Uh, you guys hear everything first over there. I send my light and love to you. Blessings. And open up your heart chakra and know that everything's okay. It's just an experience of the one. You cannot know the light unless you've experienced the darkness. And that's all we're doing. But we don't have to stay there. How amazing to take it from that place to heaven on earth and experience that. You can do that. You can experience that. Isn't that awesome? So get ready for it. And the rest, you will be an observer but you will be there to help to put your own high frequency in and stay strong, my friend. Blessings, health, wealth, love, most of all, awakening. Namaste.